Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over custom pipes. Now, if you remember from last video, pipes is just a way for Angular to, in Angular Dart, for us to be able to get data and either format it differently or change it all together in a predictable manner. Um, and because we already have a lot of custom pi I mean, pipes built into Angular Dart, but there is so much more we need to be able to do that we want to be able to do that Dar um, Angular Dart makes it easy for us to create custom pipes, okay? So how do we do that? Well, first of all, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have a nice quick app right here, your weight and the weight is right here. And I'm gonna put in right here, int weight equals 214, okay? I'm not sure if I don't actually need that, but that's all right. So weight equals 214. And it should do just this. Your weight is 214, okay? So right here, I removed the custom pipes just because it was taking so long to compile, all right? So let's create our own pipe. Here, the annotation or the decorator at pipe, and I'm gonna call it subtract weight, all right? So you know how you get on a scale and sometimes if you're trying to keep the weight down, if you're trying to gain weight, that's a different story, but if you're trying to um, keep the, you know, lose the weight itself, and you get on the scale, it's just a pointing, and, What's probably going on is that it's the clothes, right? So if you weigh in 214 pounds, you probably have like 50 pounds of clothes on you or something like that, right? So so when you get on the scale, you have to always subtract that extra weight. I'll just be generous and say 12, okay? So let's just say you have 12 pounds of clothes. I don't know what the heck you'd be wearing, but 12 pounds of clothes, we'll subtract that every single time we note what the weight actually is, all right? So what we're gonna have to do is Create a class, subtract weight, so it's going to be right up there, there in the pipes. And it's going to extend the class pipe transform. That's just built into the system. And the major method for this class is going to be transform. Okay? And it's going to take a parameter right here. And the parameter is a required parameter. It's not... Okay, we'll go over that in a second. And what I'm going to say is the weight minus 12. So this thing minus 12. So what you do is right up here, the name of it is called subtract weight, right? So subtract weight right here. We don't need to do anything else. What's going to happen is it's going to look right here, here at this at pipe, and it's going to come down here and say, okay, uh, hang on. Um, okay. So it's going to say, okay, Subtract weight, I'm going to activate this method right here, and I'm going to use the value left of the, I don't even know what that's called, bar, line, th this line here, left of that, and that's going to be the parameter right here. I could have called this anything, of course, but this is going to be the parameter for this, and this is going to activate the transform. It's a little bit roundabout, right, but, but I guess it's pretty straightforward. It's going to um, insert this right here, so I don't need an additional parameter. And I'm just going to say weight minus 12. It returns that. So 214 minus the close, 12 pounds worth of close. And your weight is that your revised weight is 202, um, 202. Okay? Pounds or kilograms or depending on where you are from. All right, so that's pretty simple and straightforward, right? That's not too bad. Couple of things, you can add some additional parameters. I'm just going to say int um, one, and I'm going to say plus one. And so I could put a parameter right here. So the value of a one is going to be 10. So instead of 212, it'll be, oh, I'm going to change that. Yeah, it'll be two. It'll be, instead of 202, it'll be 212 because we're going to add 10. Again, the first, the first um, parameter is going to come from here. The second parameter, I'm going to have to put a colon and the value right there. So 212. What if I'm going to do another? I could do more parameters. Int 2. And I'm going to go over here and say plus one, plus two, okay? Weight minus 12 plus one plus two. And this is just for an example. And how you do it here with the syntax is, is colon, let's just say 2999, all right? So it would be colon 
parameter, colon. If these were in if these were strings, of course, there would be the parentheses around them. I'm not the parentheses, the quotations, of course. If it was a string. So your weight is your new weight is this. Okay, so you can add more and more parameters on top of that. But let's remove that and so this is not just changing it and just transforming it, but we can also do other things as well. We can do um hang on right here. Int weight. I could put change this into string transform and I'm gonna say um wait pounds so that we know that hey we're in the united states and this will actually have to be pounds okay so we can do that let's see how that works Pounds. Okay, so you can notice you can make this very interchangeable. Okay, so if you wanted to do kilograms, so you would say weight. I would change that again to an. Actually, it should be a num because it might turn out to be a double. No, it'd have to be a double. Double and transfer int weight and return. Um. Weight. Weight divided by 2.2 equals kilograms. Okay, so I could do that also. Wait a minute, I made a mistake here. Did I? Uh, no, that's actually right. That's. I'm not sure why I'm getting an error right here. String isn't a double. Oh, whoops. Ooh. Yeah, I guess it's right. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. And we can always edit this accordingly. But that's, I think we get the gist of the, the what's going on right inside here, making our own pipes. And it, it could be very simple and straightforward and extremely useful as well. Okay? Thanks.